Yo, what is good everyone? A lot of you guys responded really well to one of the last videos that I made, that video being the lessons that I've learned being a 21 year old. I'd actually like to make a video about the things that I absolutely refuse to do and would like to avoid pretty much my entire 20s. Anyways, with that said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing that I absolutely refuse to do is just partying and going out. I'm not gonna lie, I used to do it when I was like 19, 20. I got it out of my system. I really don't like it anymore. To me, it's just kind of pointless. If it's for like celebratory reasons, yeah, I'll go out, I'll make an appearance. But other than that, in my opinion, it's just kind of like an escape from reality. Another thing that I don't like about these types of sceneries too is just like the type of people that are there. To me, it's just not a very fun environment to be in. It's very rowdy. And most of the time, the people that I tend to meet in these environments don't really do anything for me. At least in this stage of my life, I would much rather surround myself with people who would actually want to build something or who want to do something more meaningful with their lives. I find that way more beneficial and inspiring. I absolutely refuse to go out I refuse to do degenerate activities I mean just think about how much time it takes away from you think about how much money it costs to buy drinks one shot is already like damn near $20 at least here in Miami sometimes even more what's crazy to me is that a lot of people my age will spend the weekends partying and then wonder why their life isn't in order or why they're not where they want to be well because you're you're just wasting your time that is number one I absolutely refuse to party alcohol all that stuff get that out of here. The second thing that I refuse to do, something that I avoid doing pretty much at all times or be surrounded by people doing this, which is to waste time making opinions about other people or voicing out opinions on political views. I just don't like to get involved in those things. I don't like voicing out things that don't necessarily relate to me, even if it could kind of impact me somehow. There's only so much I can do. It's not even worth putting time and energy into those things because most of it is negative anyways. In my eyes, it's much more important to focus on myself first, more important to focus on what I can change for myself, what I can change for my family. I just think it's such a shameful thing to go out there on social media, blast my opinions. It really has no ROI if you really think about it. If you're telling me something negative about someone else, like what does it really do for you? For those people who just have the time to talk bad or judge other people, I really don't have respect for them. I just think it's an absolute waste of time. I'd rather much be building and working on myself versus, you know, being so fixated on what other people are doing. So the third thing that I refuse to do in my 20s and probably refuse to do for the rest of my life is to sit down, watch TV, watch Netflix, play video games. I just think it's so pointless sitting there at home watching a big screen of other people engaging with other people or trying to level up in a certain video game and build like a certain status within that world. Whereas you could actually go out and do this in real life. I'm probably gonna get some heat for this, but in my opinion, like why would you sit there and watch a big screen just watching other people's stories when you can go out there and make your own? Another thing too, bro, is that it just annoys me when someone has nothing to talk about but what their favorite television show is what the latest Netflix show is these people don't really have much substance they really don't have anything positive to conversate they don't really have anything to add that would motivate or inspire me or make me think critically I just think TVs ruin your productivity I just think that they end up making you lazier overall it just brings comfort and comfort kills your drive just think about it like if you free up all those hours that you spend on watching TV scrolling on your phone you know watching Netflix playing video games think about the amount of hours that you would have to developing yourself. The thing is that instant gratification is so easily accessible, it kind of messes with our ability to think long-term into the future. The fourth thing that I refuse to do in my 20s is to follow the herd. As much as possible, I wanna stay away from taking any kind of action just because everybody else is doing it. If something doesn't necessarily resonate with me, I don't want to do it just because it's the popular thing to do or if it's quote unquote, the right thing to do. A lot of guys tend to idolize Dan Bilzerian and his lifestyle with like multiple women. And yeah, that's probably what's sexy on Instagram. That's what sells on social media. I'd rather have one woman that I could turn to because one day I would like to be a serial entrepreneur. And to me, it's such a waste of time if you're on rotation meeting a different woman each week. For me, I feel like I'd get wrecked by competition if that was the, the type of lifestyle I'd like to live. That's one example of me trying not to follow the herd. And at least with my life experience, it's also part reason why people tend to naturally like me. Because I stay with my values and stick with my own path, it's just something that people tend to notice and uh, respect at the same time. All right, you guys, so the very last thing that I will absolutely refuse to do in my 20s is to go through the motions. I just 
just see this happening to a lot of people around me. There's people that I used to work with two years ago. They still have the same job. They still have the same story. Whenever I ask them what is new, they tell me, oh, nothing, it's the same. What are you doing with all this time? To me, I'm just the type of person where I don't want to leave things to chance. If you want something out of life, you got to go for it. I want to keep pushing for new experiences in life. I want to keep having new goals to go for. I want to keep having new obstacles to overcome. I just think life is more fulfilling that way when there's actually a quest to go through. But yeah, guys, these are the things that I'm avoiding in my 20s. The reason why I'm making this video is because I noticed with some of my friends, they're just sitting around and wondering why nothing good is happening in their lives. These are the reasons why I've been a victim to some of these things myself. So if I can give you guys some kind of guidance or if I can just reinforce what you already know, then I've done my job. And also I do notice that there are some new subscribers to the channel. So for those of you guys who are new, uh, welcome. I'd also love to get your input. If you guys have certain questions or if there's certain topics that you want me to go over or if there's a certain kind of video that you want me to make, please feel free to let me know in the comments. That would be very much appreciated. That way I can be of more help to you. But yeah, guys, that's all I have for you today. I have a feeling that most of you already know what to do. So just go out there and do it. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.